What is that? Do you know what that thing's called in English? Well, I'll tell you guys. It's your lucky day, I'll tell you the answer. It's called a water cooler. It's called a water cooler. A lot of workplaces have water coolers. You know, if you work in an office somewhere or if you work at uh, a mechanic shop anywhere, you know, there's going to be a water cooler. All right, so if you're thirsty, do you get thirsty sometimes? I get thirsty. So if you get thirsty at work, you might just go to the water cooler, grab one of those little paper cups, get a bit of water to wet your whistle. Wet your whistle means uh, just to, to quench your thirst a little bit, okay? If you're thirsty, you need to quench. thought someone was following me, guys. It was just my shadow. Look at that. My shadow is following me all over the place because the sun is right there. Are you scared of your own shadow? If a person's really scared and kind of on edge, they, they're even scared of their own shadow. Guys, if you're just really like uptight, you always think something bad is gonna happen, you might be scared of your own shadow. <laughs> okay, so do you like to quench your thirst sometimes? How do you do what, what drink do you do you do it with? Do you do it with water? With milk? Guys, I hear a nice bird somewhere in this tree. Oh, there he is up there. Look at that. I love birds so much. Okay. So what drink do you quench your thirst with? Maybe you like uh I don't know, let me know down in the comments what uh, drink you prefer to quench your thirst. So let's say you're at work, okay? And you you go to the water fountain and uh, you, you wet your whistle a bit, right? You quench your thirst. You might meet one of your colleagues who also was thirsty and came to wet their whistle, right? And you say, oh, hey, Bob, how are you doing? How's everything going? How's your family? That's great. Right? You just make small talk at the water cooler. Okay, that thing is called a water cooler. And if you talk to one of your colleagues at the water cooler, that's called water cooler talk. Okay, or water cooler conversation. Guys, should I attempt to walk across this canal? Or do you think I'm going to fall through the ice? I don't know, guys. I better try it. It's above zero. So, means it might be melting a bit, but uh, let's try it, guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm nervous, guys. Oh, man. I just, I don't know, for some reason, walking on ice <laughs> makes me nervous. Not like ice at like a, an ice skating rink. Like if, you know, I don't know, if you go skating at, a, at a, like an, a hockey rink or something, there's nothing underneath there. But to know if there's water underneath the ice, like this, I know there's water under here, okay? And the water's deeper than me, I know that. I don't know how deep it is. Maybe 20 feet, to, I don't know, 10 feet, 20 feet, I'm not sure. Here in Canada, we measure distances like that in feet, not in meters. But you could use meters, right? 10 feet is about 3 meters, all right? So maybe it's 3, 4, 5 meters deep. But guys, we made it across, look at that. I didn't die, now I can teach you about water water. Actually, today I want to talk about water. Teach you some common words that we use to talk about water. Now, I'll just mention with the water cooler talk, okay? Let's say you're having a water cooler chat with someone. 
very often it might be about someone else that works in the company and that's called water cooler gossip okay so the water cooler has kind of become a symbol for gossip right because when you go to the water cooler you might say oh hey hey Bob how are you doing Did you hear that Terry's wife left him? Yeah. Keep it on the down low. You didn't hear that from me. Keep it on the down low. Do you know what that means? Keep it on the down low. That means just keep it quiet. Keep it a secret. Don't go telling everybody about this. Keep it on the down low. You didn't hear it from me. You didn't hear it from me means, you know, you don't want to be identified as the source of the information. Okay, that's something you can say when you tell someone a secret about someone else and, uh, but you don't want to be revealed as the source of the of the gossip right you can say you didn't hear that from me right so uh yeah guys let's talk about water all right not not let's not do water cooler gossip that's not good right um but anyway let me know did you know that word water cooler did you know what water cooler gossip was so, um, today we're going to talk about water, particularly potable water, okay? Potable, that means water that has been purified in some way. It's, it's safe for drinking or it's safe for using, you know, in your cooking or making coffee or tea or whatever. Now that's not a very common word, potable. We don't use it in, in everyday English. But I used to work at the airport in Calgary. Guys, it's freezing out here in the shade. Why am I walking in the shade when I could be over there walking in the sun? That was a dumb move. I shouldn't have crossed the canal. Should have stayed on that side of the canal. Okay, so I used to work at the Calgary airport. I used to work around planes and I would always see that word, potable water. That's really the only time I've ever seen that word is with, you know, airplanes, but I'm sure it's the same with trains or other forms of transportation. So, you know, when you're on a plane, you need water, right? I mean, you need to wash your hands in the bathroom, you know, the little tiny bathrooms. You can barely squeeze in and then you have to kind of have to close the door and then you wash your hands in that little tiny sink. Where does that water come from? That water comes from the water tank in the plane. And every time the plane arrives at an airport, you'll see one of those water trucks it pulls up to the plane and refills the water, okay? So on the side of that truck, it will probably say potable water, potable. It just means it's, it's, it's water for drinking, but people don't actually drink that water from the sink in the bathroom. But they, they the, the, the cabin crew, uses the water to make coffee and tea and other stuff, right? They need water on the plane. So that's called potable water. Any kind of water that has been, that's kind of clean to use for, you know, whatever. So, but like I said, that's not a very common word. We don't use that word in normal English, potable. We use words like purified water or filtered water. Okay, how do you drink your water? I mean, where do you get your water from? 
I'm out of breath, guys. This air, the wind is, not the wind, I mean the air is too cold on my lungs. I gotta make it to the sun right over here. Oh, I can see the sun peeking out from behind that house. Oh, <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, the sun. My shadow is following me again, guys. So, um, where do you get your water from? Do, well, where, do, let me ask you this. Where does your city get it from? Because you probably get water from the tap, right? Now, some people drink tap water. Here in Canada, people, a lot of people drink water right out of the tap. Okay, out of the faucet, their kitchen tap or faucet right do you drink water from the tap in your country here in Canada you can you're you're supposed to be able to a lot of people don't trust tap water a lot of people don't like it maybe it tastes a little bit too uh, I don't know a lot of people have a Brita do you know what a Brita is it's just a just a countertop jug with a filter okay the company name is Brita but the word Brita has kind of become the generic word for any kind of a jug with a filter that just sits on your counter okay guys look at this beautiful Sun sunset's gonna be in a few minutes I think and just with the snow Man, there's no geese out here now. I guess all the geese flew south. Remember a few months ago I was out here and there were just geese everywhere. Oh, all the geese are gone and I'm stuck here. I should have flown south with the geese. That would have been a good, a good move. I stayed. I stayed here so I could teach you guys about water. Okay, so let's talk about water. The word Brita, you can use it for even brands that are not Brita. Because if you want to buy a jug, right, you know, one of those jugs with a filter in it, you fill up the top part with water and then it filters down into the bottom part. Most people, like, I mean, I'd say probably like, I don't know, at least 80% of these people who live here would have a Brita. Okay, now it might not be the Brita brand, it could be other, some other brands. There are other competing brands. But the thing is, that brand became so popular that everybody just call, started calling that type of thing a Brita. Okay, so it was very successful. Brita was very successful because when you can start getting your brand to be used as the, as the generic word for all of it, that means you're, you, know, you did a good job in, in, your, in your marketing campaigns or whatever so whatever whatever you have whatever brand you can just call it a Brita do you drink water from a Brita do you have a Brita I don't I drink distilled water um, I have a water distiller distilled water is when you 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 know I don't know, you can look up what a water distiller is it's basically it makes the water into steam and then it drips the steam down into a into like a a jug and you're basically drinking liquid steam it leaves all the all the other stuff the junk behind in the bottom of the guys the geese are coming back but look at that <laughs> that's awesome that is beautiful a few flocks of geese over there so yeah, the water distiller, it leaves all that kind of like junk in the water behind and you're just drinking the pure, the pure water, right? So I drink distilled water, but uh, some people, you know, what do you drink? A lot of people drink different kinds of water. Well, actually, let's talk about that in a bit. Back to my question that I asked you, where does the water in your city come from? Here in Canada, you know, most of the time a city will have 
a reservoir. Do you know what that word means? A reservoir. Like if you look on a map of, uh, of Calgary, you will see, um, I think there's a bunch of different sources where Calgary gets its water, but one of those is called the Glenmore Reservoir. Okay, a reservoir, it's kind of a hard word to say, right? Reservoir. A reservoir is a, a lake that is uh, used as a source of water for a city. Okay, so it, it could be a man-made lake or it could be probably a natural lake. I think the Glenmore Reservoir, I think that's man-made. I think it's, it's artificial. Like, see this, this here, see this lake? It's kind of like a lake and a canal here, right? This is man-made. Okay, this is not natural. I think the, the, the Glenmore Reservoir in southwest Calgary is also man-made. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I think it's man-made. Um, that's, I think that's one of the main sources for water to Calgary. And usually at, a, at the reservoir, you'll also find a water treatment plant. Okay, a water treatment plant is like a, uh, a place where they treat the water. Now, there are different ways to make water safe to drink. One way is you can treat it. To treat it means you add chemicals into the water to kill any like bacteria and that stuff. That's called treating the water. Another way is you can you can filter the water. Uh, like if you have a Brita, that's a water filter, right? Or you can maybe install a filter right onto your faucet in your kitchen. Or maybe you can put a water filter underneath the sink in, uh, you know, along the water line or something. Or a lot of people, they have a fridge with a water dispenser and maybe an ice dispenser. Okay, do you ever, do, is that how you drink your water? Like a lot of these people here in nice houses, you know, a lot of rich people have like a, a fridge with a water dispenser in the door of the fridge and it might make ice and water. So you just put your cup, you know, under the water dispenser and then it gives you water. So the fridge is connected to the water source under the sink through a water line. Okay, there's some sort of a little hose that goes behind the counter, whatever. In my uh, old house in Calgary, I had a, a fridge with a water dispenser. I never used it. I don't, I don't really see the point in, in drinking water from a fridge. Like, what, what's the point? I don't know. So I think the filter, I think the filter for that was inside the fridge. Yeah, so uh, the water filter will be in the fridge in that case, I think. Um, so there's different options. You know, let me know how you drink your water. Where do you get it from? Um, you can get it, you can drink it from a Brita or straight from the tap. That's just called tap water. If people drink tap water or if you drink water from your, you know, water dispenser from the fridge or I, if you have an, if your fridge is an ice maker too, it's kind of cool, but I don't really see the point in it. I never used it. Um, so anyway, so, so you can filter the water or you could purify it. Um, now what's the difference between the words filter and purify? Guys, this is a loud thing over there digging the foundation of a house. Maybe I should go somewhere else to be a little bit quieter. What do you think? Should we walk? Uh, there's people over there, guys. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in between the people on the path and this frozen lake. It's not a reservoir because I don't think people get water from here. Maybe for the geese, it's a reservoir. 
let me know can you say that word reservoir <laughs> it's a funny word um all right guys i think we're good to go all the people walk past so um purifying when i hear, hear the word purify i think more of like um maybe a way another way of of cleaning water using like light you know there's kinds of water purifiers that like that use uv light or some kind of a some kind of different technology to filter or to basically to purify the water but to filter something means to run something through another thing did i just spit on you guys i said the word through i think i spit on you a little bit sorry about that so uh yeah to filter you have your filter and then you run water through the filter and then it, it goes down into the other part but if you purify it you might just kind of like somehow make it clean without putting it through something i don't know it's just maybe a small difference in meaning but basically to filter and to purify they basically mean the same thing okay or to treat a lot of people drink um or a lot of people have water purifiers or water filters to actually try to get the chemicals out of treated water so you know it's very common for for cities to put like fluoride or chlorine or some kind of chemical into their water and a lot of people don't like that they don't want to be drinking fluoride or drinking some chemicals so they buy a water filter to somehow try to get that out to get the treatment stuff out of the water I don't know people have different opinions on that right so um, yeah so that's a bit about water okay people get it from a reservoir the city gets it from a reservoir and then it goes through the pipes and it comes to your house and you maybe drink it from your fridge or from a Brita or maybe straight from the tap or you know from uh, a water cooler most people don't have water coolers in their house usually water coolers are for like a workplace type of thing um, now there's another kind of water that people drink which is bottled water do you drink water from a bottle in many countries around the world bottled water is called mineral water okay probably in your country it might be called mineral water in Canada here people don't really use that word you know you don't go to a restaurant and order a mineral water you just say you know you, you might order a bottled water like if you go to McDonald's and you want water you could just ask for a cup of water and they will just give you tap water I think um, if you want a bottle of water then you have to say you would like a, a bottle of water or could I get could I get a bottled water could I get a bottle of water both mean the same thing bottled water <laughs> bottled water means a water bottle full of water right guys I'm just standing here I should go somewhere maybe I will uh, I'll walk let's walk this way um, so don't really use the word mineral water here we don't use that word here all bottled water it has minerals I, I don't know there's different different you can read on the side of the bottle each maybe brand will say something different they might say spring water this is this water is from Canadian Springs or uh, you know this water has been purified with oh what's that called uh, oh uh, reverse osmosis reverse osmosis filter or like there's different ways to filter water guys so I don't know there's different companies that sell bottled water great so here we would say bottled water not mineral water and you know sometimes people drink um, they drink fizzy water okay fizzy water is uh, called sparkling water okay sparkling means it has the bubbles it has the little bubbles in it right do you like sparkling water I used to really like it I, I for some reason I stopped drinking it um, 
I don't know, I don't usually buy bottled water anymore. I drink distilled water, but I still like fizzy water. How about you, do you like fizzy water? So you can call it sparkling water or fizzy water, whatever you want. And some people have a machine at home to make, you know, they, it pumps CO2, I think, into the water. I've never had a machine like that, I don't know. You know, it makes normal water into fizzy water. Anyway, those are just different kinds of, of water that people drink, okay? All that water can be classified as potable water or, or drinking water or drinkable water, you know. Uh, very often in malls, like if you go to a shopping mall, right, they will have a water fountain, right? And maybe probably somewhere near the bathrooms, right? So you, you know, you push that little button and the, on the water fountain, the water spurts up like that. Okay. You can describe that as spurt, a spurt. The okay, water is spurting up out of the water fountain. And then you drink, you try to catch the spurt midstream, right? Try to drink as, you know, it's probably awkward. You kind of have to tilt your head and try to like, <laughs> it's awkward guys. I know you've been in that situation. I've been in that situation many times where you're kind of like hunched over and you're trying to get some get some water and then you kind of look around to make sure if people aren't staring at you because you look a bit stupid trying to like crane your neck. You're like craning your neck like into some weird position to try to get as much because you can't really get much water if you're just kind of like trying to like slurp it out of midair, right? You can't get much water that way. So you kind of try to like crane your neck. To crane means to kind of put your head in a weird position. You crane your head, kind of you crane your neck, kind of sideways. You try to get, kind of try to get as much water into your mouth as you can. It's kind of weird, right? They should have designed a water fountain to be like up there and it just shoots right into your mouth. <laughs> that way you can just stand there. You don't have to kind of like bend because a lot of the water fountains are really low made for like kids to drink as well. Some water fountains will have like kind of like a two a two tiered system or like two levels one for adults and another one for like kids. But they're always pretty low. So you kind of have to get way down there and like kind of crane your neck in some weird position. Anyway, guys, first world problems. First world problems means a problem that's really not a big problem that people people complain about, but really it's not a big problem at all. It's just a slight inconvenience. Those are called first world problems. Okay, the word first world is often used to describe a developed country. Like Canada is considered a developed country, right? It's it would be called a first world country. So the problems people have here are not as serious as problems of in other countries, right? A lot of countries around the world don't have clean water, period. Okay, if you want to make, if you want to add emphasis to what you, you want to say, then you can say the word period. A lot of countries around the world don't have clean water, period. That thing is called a period, not a full stop, okay? A lot of people from Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, those, you know, former British kind of territories, they, they, um, they use the word full stop. We don't use that here. Nobody will know what full stop is here unless they're also from that area. Okay. So we use the word period. So if you want to add emphasis to it, like I did, you can add a period and say, uh, Many countries around the world don't have clean drinking water, period. So to complain about a water fountain, it's a first world problem, right? Guys, look at there's the, the sunset. Wow, just kind of slipping down over the, that snowy hill over there. Well guys, I've already been recording for about half an hour here, so I better wrap it up and uh, go home and warm up my hands. So anyway, I just wanted to take you out for a walk with me and teach you about some water words like reservoir, um, potable, 
um, water cooler gossip. Guys, there's a guy walking behind me with two dogs. I guess that's not water cooler gossip because there's no water cooler here. It's canal gossip. Canal gossip, guys. Well, I'll go home and warm up my hands. Maybe I'll get a hot cup of tea and uh, edit this video. <laughs> so guys, as always, I love you so much. Thank you for, you know, all your support and for all your nice comments and smashing that like button. I really appreciate it. And as always, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying safe, healthy, and happy. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.